This is the incredible moment a Ukrainian tank fired through a demolished building to take out a Russian armored personnel carrier on the other side in a single shot. The images show the Ukrainian tank moving up the street in the war-ravaged town of Rybizhna, 40 miles from Luhansk in the east of Ukraine. It suddenly opened fire on a stationary Russian military vehicle, hitting it and destroying it in one shot. The shell passed through the partially destroyed building that stood between the Ukrainian tank and the Russian military vehicle, reportedly an armored personnel carrier. A small cloud of dust could be seen being dislodged from the building as the ordnance fired by the Ukrainian military vehicle passed through it before hitting its target. The regional governor of the eastern Luhansk region, Serhii Haydai, claimed that the armed forces of Ukraine have repelled Russian troops offensive in Rubizhna and Bopaznia. Haydai said that they would attempt to evacuate civilians from neighboring Krimina, just a couple of miles from Rubizhna Luhansk region, today. People who had not already fled were effectively hostages to the Russian forces, which had not stopped shelling and blocking civilian escape routes, Haydai added. Volunteers will help us in the evacuation today, the police will take elderly and less mobile people to the buses, as well as people from shelters. Therefore, when you see the patrol, do not delay, this is a chance to escape. Every day such opportunities decrease. After weeks of having their assaults on Kyiv thwarted at every turn, Putin's commanders have now refocused their efforts on the territories of Donetsk and Luhansk, along with other regions of Ukraine's eastern flank. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky yesterday dubbed this new assault the Battle of the Donbas. Ukrainian media outlets and telegram channels reported a series of explosions along the front line in the Donetsk region, with shelling taking place in Marinka, Slavyansk and Kramatorsk throughout the evening. Local officials and media also said explosions were heard in Kharkiv in the northeast of Ukraine, Mykolaiv in the south and Zaporizhia in the southeast. We can now confirm that Russian troops have begun the battle for the Donbas, which they have been preparing for a long time. A large part of the Russian army is now dedicated to this offensive, Zelensky said in his daily presidential address last night. No matter how many Russian soldiers are brought here, we will fight. We will defend ourselves. I am grateful to all our fighters, to all our heroic cities in Donbas, Mariupol, as well as to the cities in the region of Kharkiv that are being held. The coming battle is viewed as pivotal to deciding the ultimate fate of Ukraine, and perhaps of Russia as well. Russia retreated from Kyiv more than two weeks ago after failing to seize the capital, and has spent the days since massing forces in the east in an attempt to restart its failed invasion and score its first major battlefield victory. Most troops are gathered at Izium, a city spanning the Donetsk River some 70 miles to the south of Kharkiv, for an expected push south towards Mariupol.
Zelensky's chief of staff Andrei Yormak called Russia's fresh assault the second phase of the war and assured Ukrainians that their forces could hold off the offensive. Believe in our army, it is very strong, he said. Shortly before Zelensky's address, Governor Sergei Gaidai also announced the beginning of Russia's much-anticipated attack. It's hell. The offensive has begun, the one we've been talking about for weeks. There's constant fighting in Rubizhna and Bokhazna, fighting in other peaceful cities, he said on Facebook. Russian shelling killed at least eight civilians in eastern Ukraine on Monday, according to local authorities. Gade said four people died as they tried to flee the city of Kremena in Luhansk, which Russian forces captured on Monday. In the neighboring region of Donetsk, Regional Governor Pavlo Karolenko said four other civilians died after Russian bombardment, while a man and a woman were also killed in Kharkiv when shells hit a playground near a residential building.